Find your breath. Where do you feel it right now? It's so easy to lose it. You get distracted with other things. But it's always there. Always there for you to come back to. So the difference is your attention. How can you make your attention as consistent as possible? When the Buddha talks about attention, he doesn't say anything about bare attention. There are basically two kinds, appropriate and inappropriate. Appropriate is when you see things in terms of the question of what's skillful and what's not. And then it goes further, of course, into the Four Noble Truths. Unskillful causes, craving. Undesirable result, suffering. Skillful causes, or skillful actions, the path. And then a skillful result, the end of suffering. If you pay attention to those issues, you're paying attention to the right things. Otherwise, you could be paying attention to everything else. And you may know a lot, but it's inappropriate. The question is, how do you take your knowledge and apply it here? That's when it becomes appropriate. That's when it becomes skillful. That was the Buddha's question all the time as he was looking for awakening. As he said, he looked for the unexcelled state of peace and for what was skillful. Skillful, of course, means the means to the end. So whatever came up, those were the two questions he asked. Is this the unexcelled state of peace? And if it wasn't, okay, what's the skillful use of this? Now, some things didn't have skillful uses at all, so he abandoned them. But there are certain kinds of thinking, certain kinds of activity that were skillful, that would be useful in the right direction. So he developed those. And even when he gained insights into his past lives, insights into the principle of karma, he didn't stop there. He kept asking himself, what's the skillful use of this? Everything came up. What's the skillful use of this? He finally got to nirvana. Though that was the one thing he didn't have to ask that question of anymore, because he'd arrived at that state of peace. You don't use nirvana for anything. But everything short of that is something you use. And you want to learn how to use it skillfully. So whatever comes up in the meditation, you ask yourself, what's the best use of this? That's appropriate attention. And that's the kind of attention that the Buddha recommended. You commit yourself to something and then you reflect on it in terms of those Four Noble Truths. And so when you're doing meditation, you plunge into the meditation. When you're practicing virtue, you plunge into virtue. Then after the plunge, you can ask yourself, okay, what was that? Reflect afterwards. Commit yourself first and then reflect. And so this combination of commitment and reflection, using those categories of appropriate attention, that's how your practice grows and stays on course. It doesn't go wandering off someplace else. So always ask yourself the right questions. Am I paying attention to the right thing in the right way? Because there are lots of things you could be paying attention to right now, and it'll be true. But they might not be beneficial. And this may not be the right time and place for them. So make sure attention is appropriate, and everything good will follow from that.